Getting Familiar with ProLiance, Part 1, Navigation. Access ProLiance by going to ProLianceOnDemand.com or to an address provided by your administrator. You may want to go ahead and create a browser favorite or create a desktop shortcut to make it easier to come back whenever you need to. Enter your organization name, username, and password, and then click Login. The first time you log in, you'll be presented with an end user license agreement. Please read and accept the terms. After that, you'll be taken to the Work Area Selection page. You may not be able to see all four work areas as I do here, depending on the access that has been provided to you. The organization work area is used to set up a global address book, your portfolios, and new programs or projects. The portfolio work area lets you configure, view, and report on programs and projects. The program or projects work area is where business processes are executed. The analytics work area displays reports and dashboards from any project, program, portfolio, or a roll-up of any of those, or the entire organization. To navigate to a program, choose Programs and Projects. You'll see a listing of the work areas that you have access to, which may represent a list of programs or a list of projects. We'll discuss lists like this more later, but for now, I will just click Enter next to the program that I want to work in. The program or project has four primary areas of interest for navigation. A navigation trail at the top, a navigation buttons to the top right, a navigation pane at the left side allows me to navigate the various application areas of ProLiance, and the register, making up the majority of the screen. This is where all of our information will be tabulated so we can drill into, create, and review data, and execute processes. The navigation trail allows me to quickly back up and enter another program, or back all the way out to the home screen and choose to enter a portfolio or organization space. The navigation buttons give me quick access to preferences, help, the portfolio, and of course the logout button. Let's take a closer look at the Preferences screen. The User Preferences box allows you to set your default home page, potentially skipping the home screen. You can change your password. You can change the number of items you see in a paged list. If you have a reasonably fast internet connection, I would choose no less than 100 items per page. The date format and calendar selections can be important for your region of the world. Set the accessibility option if you use a screen reader. The ACR option optionally creates a little more screen real estate on the anticipated cost report. You can play with that once you get more familiar with the ACR. When you're happy with your selections, just click OK. The register shows a summary list of the documents in that register allows me to create, edit, read, and delete documents according to my permissions. It allows me to tailor the view to show me the data that I want to see and also print reports. Clicking on any particular row in the register will open that document. The document is also organized into four primary navigation areas. The toolbar at the top, tabs containing pages, and pages containing sections, wherein we find all the specific fields. I can navigate to a document. I'll open up the meeting minutes register and click on one of my meeting documents. Within here, I again see the toolbar at the top, all the tabs, the pages, such as main, attendees and CCs, topics, meeting minutes, and properties. Sections, which I can expand and collapse individually or as the whole group. And then within each section, I can see the various fields that I could specifically work with if I were in edit mode. 
Every ProLiance document has at least the General tab and the Attachments tab. The Attachments tab allows the linking to any other ProLiance document or a URL link or uploaded file. Take some time to practice general navigation and get familiar with the different parts of the work area and documents.